Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to call custom methods using the XML RPC. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to perform a crude operation using the XML RPC from the Postman application. And in case you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development level is here. You can see different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. This is the XML RPC playlist which we are currently using, right? Previously, we already discussed about how to call, how to authenticate Odoo using the XML RPC, how to do the crude operations, I mean, uh, and how to call the ORM methods using the XML RPC but in this topic we are going to see how to also call the custom methods using the XML RPC. So here let's say I'm trying to create one more method in the student profile and it will return school information as well as the student information. So for that I'm trying to go to in the student profile models and you can see here this is the wb student is module module is here and you can see this is the button right and here i'm trying to add one more variable as a data i will call two methods uh, two models and it it will return the, and it will return the list of dictionary format so first thing is in self dot env wb school right and search all the student details so i'm using here search underscore read so it will provide us the dictionary format and same for the student profile right so school underscore detail right and school underscore student detail so let me remove this so this is the school detail and this is the student detail and it will return everything the, all the fields so here i will try to use like school detail and student detail all right uh, let me restart the service if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained how to configure so the first thing is here right you can see this click me button once i will click to this button you can see in the terminal it will return the dictionary format right this is the school detail and this is the student detail so i will combine these two results in a one single variable and i will try to return this data okay so here let's say the data then after append here let's say the school underscore detail right and here like school detail and another variable is the student underscore detail and student underscore detail and simple i will try to return data and you can see here the data variable and I will comment this print statement and uh, I will restart the service and I'm going to again here in the front end side and click to this button one more time and now you can see now the output would be always in the one single variable and now you can see this is the school detail so everything in the school detail you can see like this and here you can see the student detail right and let's say what happened is like while you are trying to integrate with the other platforms right so you have to also provide the combination data from the different models so here this is the small test case i'm giving you as an example so now i'm trying to create one more xml rpc out of this odoo if you remember guys like i created two python script right this is for the authentication purpose and this is for the crude operation purpose. So let's say I will take this first one and here let's say XML RPC custom method, right? And let me close this one. 
uh, make sure like your URL, username, password and database name would be the always same otherwise it having an issue alright so you can see here right now we are using Odoo 16 one so this is the one right so here the first thing is always it will authenticate with the Odoo using this method right and it will return integer value in case it success or else it, it will automatically written as a none or the false and this method especially to call the specific methods from the specific model which we will provide okay so here like I will try to add here if you remember last time we used the cell dot order right but now instead we are trying to use custom module a model so here instead of the cell dot order we are using our custom module name wb dot student then after the first thing and another thing is the method name okay so method name is the web lens. this is our custom method right you can pass here the web lens. and here I will remove everything so here list of school and student detail right and I will try to print this statement and here the first thing is database name the UID password the model which we have to pass here WB student right and the method the search right search means the parameter we have to pass like if you see here there is no parameter we are passing so we are trying to pass here as a blank right so this is the blank parameter we can just pass here and simple I'm trying to run this script and now you can see it will give me the result so like this way you can try to like call the custom methods also uh, one more thing is so here let's say I will try to comment this part or let's say dot get student detail sorry the school and student detail let me re execute all right so yeah so first thing is it will always return the list of dictionary right so of zero you can pass here and now you can see so this is the school detail and this is the student detail right and now based on this uh, details you can store in your database or you can perform a crude operations with the old system right you can do whatever you want using the custom method so this is the simplest way you can perform a crude operation using the custom module all right so that's it guys i hope you like this session and uh, if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe like and share it will help me a lot and if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session